Hi guys, this is the first video of a series of projects based on 8051 microcontroller family that I used to build back in 2011 and 2012. All of these projects are parts of experiments that I used to do while I was learning microcontrollers. So let's move on to the project. This project is basically a variable frequency generator with a maximum frequency until 20,000 Hz with variable due cycle from 0 to 100. So first see the output of the project. So we'll play the simulation here. Uh, there is a keypad to enter the frequency and UD cycle values. So let's put 500 Hz. This project can uh, handle the frequency values from 1 Hz until 20,000 Hz. So we are trying with 500 Hz first. This button is for enter. Okay, we press this button. And we'll first put the UD cycle here, 50 Hz. Okay, now right now we cannot see the output on the simulation. So we'll just stop the simulation and we'll just put first of all the counter here. The pin number 3.0 is the output of our circuit. And we'll add an oscilloscope also to see the duty cycle change. Okay, we will change the mode of this counter to frequency. So let's put some frequency value here. Now we can see the output here. The output frequency that Proteus is telling us is 500 Hertz. And we can see the 50% duty cycle here. How we are achieving it? So this is the code of this program, which I will upload on GitHub. So you can see in detail. Basically, here we are getting the input from the user, the frequency input, and at the line number 69, we are getting the percentage input. So these four lines are doing the mathematics and finally getting the high time and low time uh, of our square wave. This high time and low time is, uh, is then passed to the timer function here, which is set as 16-bit timer. And then this timer is called in the infinite loop here to generate the clock cycle. So we can experiment with different frequency and duty cycle values here. By pressing this button, we can reset this program. The output is turned zero again. So let's put some other value. And let's put some other duty cycle also. Now we can see the output frequency is eight, almost 800 Hertz and we can see the 90% duty cycle here. We can experiment more. Now if we put very high value here we will see that the, there is some error and that error will increase uh, by the increase in the frequency input. So if you are using a higher frequency value, so you have to set the, the error compensation value according to, your, according to your need. I can tell you where the error compensation value is on line 72. This value, this 45, is the compensation value. I set this value by experiments by trial and error. And since I was working on a low frequency range when I was developing this project, so this is the value that suits me. So if you are using higher frequency value, so you can change this value because basically this is in microseconds. So this is 45 micro, uh, in fact, yes, microseconds. So if you're working on higher frequency value, so you can change this value to get the accurate output, whatever your need is. So we can, we can put anything. Let's put 8000 Hertz. Now this is the output of 8000 Hertz. You can see the duty cycle here and this is the output of 8000 Hertz which is 8130. If you want more accurate uh, output frequency so you can go and come and change the compensation value over there. Now if you put uh, 20,000, let's put 20,000 here. Yeah. 
In simulation, it takes some time here to update the value. Now, this is the output at 20,000 Hz, 20,408. So, as I already said, that you can compensate this value by changing uh, this number. But what will happen if I put more than 20,000? So, let's try. Let's put 20,001. The output is reset. There is no output. Because this program, I mean, when I was developing this, I knew that the bigger the value of frequency input, the higher the error is. So I need to put some limit here. So the limit is 20,000. If you want to change the limit, you can change this value in line number 62. If you change this value, you can have higher frequency also. So let's try another value before we end this video. This is the low frequency output and you can see that it is pretty much accurate. The duty cycle and the, the frequency output also. So this is all for this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.